Hello everybody, this is Evan, your friend in all creative web tutorials out there. Today I have my first video tutorial in which I will show you how you will shave your lens, your 10.5mm fisheye lens from Nikon because uh, I have to do it. I'm sorry I have to do it because um, this camera that I own uh, right now it is a full frame, it is uh, the D800 the full frame FX from Nikon and the lens is a superb lens for fisheye and 360 panorama but uh, it is uh, designed for DX cropped uh, sensor bodies SLR uh, DSLR so I have to shave these little things over here in order to make them uh, in order to take them away and use the lens in full potentials. So uh, when I when I uh, actually uh, load this lens on this body, the camera automatically uh, works on DX crop mode, uh, which means that uh, I use my camera and my sensor in uh, half uh, size. So uh, in order for this camera to take advantage of this lens, it actually works as a DX. So. Uh, it is not in full potential and uh, it doesn't work uh, like the way I want this camera, this expensive camera to work. That way, uh, you see right now the example that uh, shows you the photograph when the DX crop mode uh, is activated in my D800. Uh, but uh, if I take this uh, auto crop off and you see now the example, you understand that uh, I uh, I don't use my my sensor in full potential. You see this black um, the, that, that black uh, you know um, vignette around around the photograph, and you know you can see some problematic dark areas that uh, they are caused because of this um, this actually little things around the lens. So I will cut, I will shave actually, this is the proper uh, name for this procedure. I will actually shave this one with a little saw that I have uh, and I hope that I will be able to use my lens in full potentials after the end of this uh, wonderful video tutorial. Uh, some things that I need to have uh, in front of me before I start. First of all, I need to have um, this one a saw which cost here in uh, Austria uh, one euro only so uh, it is pretty cheap then I have to I need one little uh, box in order to put my pencil on top and uh, create a line with a little space below so I used this uh, compact flash uh, box in order to raise my pencil and uh, actually draw a line a circle around the lens in order to cut it uh, right. Of course, you will see that in a while in a close-up video. Uh, also, I, too, I bought uh, those uh, 10 uh, blades for my saw in case that my saw will break. Of course, it's really cheap, one uh, euro only. Also, I need this uh, blower in order to take away the dust or the you know the pieces of the plastic when I will cut it from my crystal lens and of course I need um, this paper from a poster in order to uh, make it a circle and put it here uh, you know between uh, around the lens in order to uh, protect the lens from the dust and from the cutting of uh, the plastic and of course uh, I think I have the most precious and most important thing for this tutorial, I have this one, which is uh, uh, something really important in order to make everything work well. I have this uh, picture of Jesus Christ and Mary in order to help me uh, and protect me uh, from any mistake. So I hope that they will help me. I will put them here in all the procedure and I hope God will uh, uh, you know, uh, respect that and help me to uh, make my lens better. So afterwards I will uh, come back and tell you what happened. You will see all the procedure right now in fast forward of course in order to realize what happened and what you can do. Of course I don't take any responsibility uh, for any of your loss. If you damage your lens you're on your own. I will do it for myself because this lens is really expensive to buy but it's really cheap to uh, give it a second hand and I don't want to give this 
uh, at about $300 or something. I prefer to take my risk and make it a better one because uh, if I will shave it and uh, have it uh, in circular uh, photographs afterwards, it will be really easy for me to make fantastic panoramas. So let's do it. I will uh, put my other camera and record the whole procedure. Let's do it and let's pray to God for that. See you uh, afterwards.
And I finally did it! Yes! Check this out! It looks really sharp and really wonderful. No damage in the glass, in the crystal. Just a tiny bit of damage is over here and a little bit in my uh, hand because of the pressure that I was uh, cutting the plastic. It was really hard to cut the plastic. Actually, it was really... Uh, it was more hard than I was thought. Uh, that uh, this uh, you know plastic in the blades of the lens but the, those blades are gone you can see the sample before you see the sample before uh, of course uh, on the DX on we will take the DX on so you could see the old blades on the on the imans and right now you will see the end result with this wonderful new puppy right now without the blades you see that full 180 degrees with one shot this puppy over here this uh, lens over here right now it uh, it's actually uh, it actually deserves to be on uh, fx body and it will be for the rest of its life this wonderful lens now it's uh, ready to take a panorama with four shots maybe less so uh, it will uh, speed up my uh, my work and of course I'm really happy that both Jesus Christ and Holy Mary helped me because without uh, their help probably uh, there would have been a different result. So enjoy it. I hope that you enjoyed this wonderful tutorial. Of course again I don't take any responsibility if you damage your lens. I was lucky enough to uh, be able to, cut, to shave it my own. Uh, also, I have to tell you that uh, I used uh, some extra stuff like this, uh, you know, uh, foil, uh, I don't know, plastic, how you say it, uh, for the food. It was much more better to cover the mechanic parts and the glass of the lens instead of this uh, silly shit. Uh, excuse me and of course I needed more than one little blades to cut because the plastic was really hard uh, in order to be cut it and of course the cut blades of the lens uh, I didn't throw them away it's uh, really important also to be uh, here and not in the trash can because I put the blades in here I glued them in the in the cap of the lens so I could uh, you know, cover the cap without any problem. So now the lens is covered, but the glass doesn't uh, touch the inner of this cap. So the plastic parts, the plastic old blades, they are now a stop from the glass to touch the end of the cap. So it's really crucial not to throw them away. So uh, this is it. And of course you need uh, uh, a glue, you know, a logo. It's my glue. Anyway, and uh, this is it. So I'm Evan, I'm your host to some really exciting tutorials and do some uh, really crazy uh, tryouts like this one uh, shaving of my DX 10.5 millimeter uh, old DX but now full FX lens. I'm really happy that my uh, fisheye has new potentials right now. So see you soon and have fun photographing.